This actually feels like the most evil decision you can make in Baldur's Gate 3 so far. And it actually kind of messed me up. I was like, oh, I don't know how to proceed. So I talk about both outcomes in this video and then I choose. But man, did I feel bad about it. Today we're going to be fulfilling Shadowheart's destiny to become a Dark Justica of Shah. To do this we must reach the Nightsong Relic, which lies within General Form's mausoleum. But the General's necromancer, Balthazar, actually wants the Night Song for himself because it's the key to General Thorn being immortal. So obviously we need to fulfill this storyline before we can progress, but first we need to pass the Gauntlet of Shah. Everything's going to be timestamped below, and first we're going to be passing the Gauntlet of Shah. But ultimately, we're going to be letting Shadowheart decide her fate. Also, Astarian has made a deal with the Devil, Raphael, to kill another Devil on his behalf in exchange for information. So we'll see how that goes too. Intriguing. Well, let's head inside. Follow me. That looks like a pressure plate. It's not. We're, we're safe. I walked on it to test it just in case. Let's go through the gates then. Hello. Zarel, Minthara, whoever you are, leave. I shall carry out General Form's will alone. Who's this? Not wanted. Not needed. Leave. Herald of Balthazar. Ah! There's a plaque here on the floor. Here lies Melodia Thorm, beloved wife and mother. A Armiel Tellere Manon here. And there's a diary of Ketheric Thorm, volume one here as well. This was his wife. A journal spanning years beginning with the birth of a child and ending with what appears to be a series of dateless tragedies. How can she be gone? Where did she go? The Moon Maiden cannot be so unfeeling, so cruel. Not towards her most devout servant. Not after Melodia. It makes no sense. It makes no sense and I won't survive it. That much I know. Forgetting is the only possibility. The embrace of oblivion. The reprieve of nothingness. It would not be possible for a man to survive knowing what he knows. Knowing what can be lost. Char understands that. Here is the only mercy I can comprehend. My mind is full of holes, yet not enough. The emptiness, the time, the nothingness. And still I remember, still remember it all. There is no mercy in this beating heart. There is no mercy in life at all. So that is why he ended up converting to Shah, which we kind of already understood, but that book pretty much explains what we found last episode. Bones everywhere. Someone's been engaging in dark rituals here. Diary of Ketheric Form, Volume 2. Forgetting evades me in this infinite darkness. Balthazar is my own source of the barest comfort. The thought that perhaps she might be brought back to me. If Oblivion can fail, what defense have we against death? None except its mastery. Balthazar's words have never felt more promising. Pretty twisted indeed. I'm pretty sure, based on the letter I read from his wife, who worships Merkel's symbol. This symbol right here. There's a stained book here. A small note is squeezing out the margins of a tome detailing necromatic rites. General Thorm's orders were clear. In order to find what lies beyond this mausoleum, one must walk in his footsteps. Deed by deed, from splendor to tragedy to infamy, as he put it. B. Oh, Balthazar. It must be Balthazar, the necromancer's room we explored previously. But this tome has been completely ransacked. So let's go further in. Temple map. Well, that's useful, isn't it? A hand-drawn map shows the Gauntlet of Shah. That's where the Night Song is hidden. A labyrinth of triangular chambers and passageways stretch across multiple levels. Written in jagged, spidery hands, Balthazar's notes. Intact wing, proving grounds. Ruined wing, something present there. Strange sounds reported. Rats. Why so many like damnable there's a temple rats? temple under this place, and something deadly sealed inside it. An open tomb. More to this place. Empty. I'm sure of it. Not ominous in the slightest. Okay, so even Shadowheart senses Shah. Sosun El Olaf. Here lies Isabel like Thorm. Catherick Thorm had a daughter. I wonder what happened. Catherick Thorm's daughter was taken out of here. There's a lot of pressure plates in this room, symmetrically around. Can't give up now. So I'm actually gonna just walk around here. 
on my own. There's also gargoyle heads. What happens when you press the button? Glowing blue. Catherick, helming a Sharon army. He's hiding his own past, just as he's keeping pieces of yours. He is. He knows who we were when we were the Dark Urge. So we've like explored this whole tomb, but there must be something more to this area. That's very strange. There are still some vents as well. Oh, another button. Catherick lost his daughter, but the bastard knows why you lost everything. I think we were in a position of power. Maybe Catherick was threatened by us. Moonrise Towers. Moonrise Towers. It makes the urge hiss within. It was part of your disgrace. But how? So let's start here at Moonrise Towers where the story starts. Then let's click on his daughter dying. Kind of going in line of story. And finally... When he became the general and started leading Sharp. And we seem to have opened a secret area. Look at this. That disc looks like it can move. But where does it lead? It looks like a lift, and I think I, I know where it leads. I think it leads back to the Sh go. Temple of Shah we saw from the Grimforge. Don't walk on it. Oh god. Okay, they've been disarmed, so we're good. There's still pretty much nothing here see. about some dead skeletons. Let's go down into the temple itself. Oh, we press this traversal gem, maybe. We're traversing. Oh, hello. To Lady Charles Temple. Shadow Heart will be happy. Gauntlet of Shah. So this is where the night song hidden. You can also take the stairs up some of the way. Shah. Before my very eyes, the dark lady guided me here. She she wanted me to find this place. Alright, Shadowheart, there's no need to take all the credit. It's amazing now. Okay, hopefully there's no traps. Oh, there's a plaque though. Shah, singer of eternal night, protector of the lost and forgotten. It looks like there's a plaque missing here. Here goes nothing. Cross from the light into darkness. Give your life to the shadows. And then, there's a mosaic on the floor. Offer your pain to Shah's embrace. Hear the night song. Hear the night song, ah. This is the relic. Let's go through the stone door. Oh, sick door, man. The answer lies in darkness. Shah's warriors must not be caught, must not be tricked. Only loss awaits the unworthy. There's vents here as well, and dead skeletons. Voice. Is that Shah herself who speaks? Only in darkness. Let's move. Can we turn off the lights? Jesus, okay. Chill out. Fair with a perception. The darkness will feed on the weak, taking what they hold dear. There's a lever here. Literally can't see. Uh lever. Activates. So I turned off this light. I don't know what I'm taking damage from right now. Okay, I can see. Can I activate this now? Welcome, child. Follow my voice and prove your worth. Well, you literally almost killed me. Still so breathing. Just pretty sure everything. I did the quest. I just activated some traps. Hopefully, nothing bad will happen if I just loot one of the Justicars. <laughs> Trims. How considerate. Twenty one gold. I'll take that. Right, so it appears you have to go straight through. Hopefully there's no traps. Oh, it is a trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Just blindly walking through this whole gauntlet. Some gold. In darkness, beauty is equal 
and wealth unseen. It looks like we can jump up here too. Potentially. This reminds me of the Underdark. Maybe it's like an alternative way into the Gauntlet of Shaw. Where the heck are we? I can see the chest down there. There's a skeleton next to it. I'm assuming it's a trap. And an entrance into the temple from there. Let's go down there anyway. I'm going to have to rest before I try and get that chest though. Because I think whatever's there is probably going to try and kill us. So let's go over to this door and unlock it and see where it leads. Okay, uh, lockpick. Should be easy. What do we need to open this? A 14? 17, nice. Okay, so what's in here? Ooh, there's like a whole cooking area with so much food. So much food. There's massive mushrooms as well. Do like it down here. Oh, we're also it's saving. It's nice. A homie. This is a dedication to my goddess's power and dark beauty. Homie is not the first word that comes to mind. Feed your bodies and rest your minds. Lady Shah needs her warriors strong and ready. Well, this seems like a good time to long rest. Let's go back to the camp. Need to get all our spell slots back. Starion would like to speak to us, probably about what happened with the devil he made a deal with outside. The way she lived at me. The blood merchant. I can't get it out of my head. I did what I always did. I let her use me. Why does it feel different to all the other times then? Because you got to keep the reward rather than give it to your master. I'll drink that potion and never think about it again afterwards. But what I had to do to get it is going to stay. There's nothing more desirable in the world than a vampire, is there? How <laughs> many been through all I have? You damn well are going to fight with what few assets the gods give you. But a part of me feels sick when I think about getting on my back for breadcrumbs again. Poor Astarian. I'm really sorry for making you do it. I literally I said, do you want to do it? It's up to you. You still chose to do it. I forced myself to do it. I have bedded thousands of people. Half of them I barely remember. Most of them didn't even grant me temporary bliss. I thought it would be nothing at all to sell myself to that drow's fantasies. But the price was higher than I imagined. I don't want to do it again. And I won't make you. It isn't worth the scars anymore. Huh. This temple certainly is grand. It is oh, well, indeed. It's a rundown bearing the weight of centuries sort of grand, which is my favorite kind, incidentally. Are you really going to trust the devil to keep his word if we kill this author? I'd trust a devil over a vampire any day. I think he likes us. I like him too, but I'd never say that to a smarry face. Perhaps if we kill this Orthon extra bloody, he'll invite us for tea and brandy back in his house. He does have a fancy house, doesn't he? Are you Cazador's only spawn, or are there others like you? <laughs> Cazador? Sired seven spawn. Me and my six brothers and sisters. He always insisted we were a family, even when he was carving scars into our flesh. I was one of his first. Some of the others came years later. He was a monster to us all, but did take special pleasure in my pain. He said, my screams sounded sweetest. Jesus, bro, this is dark. Now that I'm gone, I, I don't know. I pity the other six. Can't believe you hid those scars from me. <laughs> You never asked me to take my shirt off. I mean, you're, you're right. I always thought they were a sign of my humiliation. I never realized there might be more to them. But Raphael told us he can make the impossible come true. I have to try my luck. It's pretty grim, man. I used to just be sickened, thinking it was his sadistic pleasure. There was method. To it. The depravity of the act was a distraction. I have to get to the truth of it. Very well. We will find the truth, Astarian. Do not worry. Let's go and ask Shadowheart what she thinks of this temple. The gauntlet of Shah. I can't believe it. I, 
can't believe we found the Dark Lady's sacred crucible. Believe it. This is the place where you could become a Dark Justica. Your dream might be soon realized. I know. I can scarcely believe it's real. But I saw it with my own eyes. Felt the polished stone walls raised in Lady Shah's honor. Normally, it would not be for me to pursue becoming a Dark Justicia without a superior's command. But this is different. My lady wanted me to find this place. I know it. What do you think of it? Overwhelming. Worship of Lady Shah is usually discreet by nature. Her holy sites have to be modest, well hidden. Modest? But that place... I never knew such grandeur had been built in her honor. Tell me what you do know of this place. The Gauntlet of Shah is no ordinary temple. It is the highest test of the Dark Lady's faithful. To judge if they are worthy of becoming a Dark Justicia. The Gauntlet has double meaning. It speaks of the ordeals to be overcome, and of the armor-clad fist of Lady Shah that would embrace the worthy. Survive the crushing gauntlet, and be embraced by the Night Singer at its very core. The old ways were lost over time. Now some claim the rank simply by killing a single saloon knight. But before, they were a true elite. Many would attempt the trials, but few would succeed. I'm sure I'll be able to finish these trials. Easily. Thoughts are back on the twisted Scaleritas and his honeyed words of violence. You called for me, my lord? Jesus, bro. Shriek! It's been too long since you venerated me. You're slipping. Those words sting, though they are true. I vow I will say your name a thousand times in prayer before I rest tonight. I love you so dearly, Master. I come here, for I wish to bring you another powerful tithe. Mm. But I cannot grant you this prize quite yet. You must do something divinely unspeakable first. I kill for myself, not because you command me. Oh, you are such a pleasure to serve. Of course you are killing for yourself. From coast to coast, our realm only exists for you to play with after all. You will receive a royal prize for killing this pretty girl. Didn't we already... Isabel. The cleric with the sweetest face of the moon. She is too precious to live. I felt the desire to kill her so strongly when we met, but I turned her into a sheep. <laughs> so the last light is already doomed anyway. Your unconscious clever mind hungers for extreme violence. Who knows who you might kill next? If you do not satisfy your urge, be true to yourself, my lord. Well, I got to find her then, because she was taken back to Moonrise Towers, I believe. Let's see what else is down here. There's a bunch of rats all. Even the rats have the good sense to pay homage to Lady Shah. Why are the rats paying homage to her anyway? It's a bit weird. I loot this coffin. A place of offering to the Dark Lady. May she embrace the entire world. Pray at the altar. Religion check. Do we fail to pray? No, we are a successful Shah A pleasurable shiver runs down your spine. You feel as if you've unburdened a troubling thought and forgotten it forever. Night Singer's favor. Affected entity is resilient to necrotic damage until your next long rest. Talk to these rats. It's part of the floor. Observe the rats' behavior. 14. 17. The rat holds its ground. It almost seems defiant. Why wouldn't it be? Study the rat's appearance. <laughs> Don't know why I'm doing this. The rat has a thick coat and dark staring eyes. Old, but in good health. Good to know. Oddly brazen for a rat. 
We should just move along. Okay, Shadowheart doesn't want to touch the rat. We can open this to another door. I think this unlocks the door. Oh, hello. Reconstructed marksman. But see, these are the suits of armor here to defend the gauntlets. Let's head on inside. You prowl my battleground. Why? Are you friend? Foe? Thieving scavenger? Ooh. You find yourself in a dead, putrid skull, somehow hosting a tadpole amongst a squirm of maggots. Another presence lurks within, manipulating the corpse like a puppet. Ah, a friend, an uninvited friend. I do not request help. Darrell sent me, looking for someone called Balthazar. Did she now? Enter. I will see if I have any use for you. Okay. Oh my god. How are we entering? Stinking this pile of ogre afterbath! The quakes herald the shadows. They found me. What? What is that? Oh my god. Yo, that's sick. Find Catherick Thorne's relic updated. Just a cut Avenger. Oh my god, there's loads of them around. Should I destroy the Umbral Tremors? Is that gonna help us? Let's go ahead and shoot down these Justicars and miss. Why not? Oh, there's loads of reconstructed assistants arriving. Let's go ahead and bless our party. This guy's gonna get wrecked. It's just like the one enemy and a few dark orbs. Unless they get reinforcements from these orbs. Mostly being a few orbs, but coming in. I jump over the bench, yeet him from behind. Oh, triple damage with the crit. Absolutely deleted it. Now let's take out this orb. Don't really know what doing that will do, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, they're spawning more of them. So we do need to take out these orbs as soon as possible. Definitely take out the one behind us, Starion. We take it out in melee. Oh my god, he had one damage. You're joking. Send Shadowheart after these orbs. Summon some assistance. Gale, okay, finish the orb. There we go. I'm just going to start taking out these uh, teleporters because that's what's spawning. Them and then this one. There we go. <laughs> They're just using the crossbows at point blank range. Uh, there's another one. And another one. Oh my god. Try and destroy this. Right, so the axe will hopefully take this out. Fantastic. <laughs> These undead are useless. Destroy it, Gale. Destroy it. We have the 100% chance to hit all of them, which is great. All this guy can do is fire crossbow shots. He is hitting at point blank, though, to be fair. <laughs> I can't even hit it. Oh my god, what is that? Justicar Crusader looks insanely cool. Shoot him from up here. 35 damage, nice. Let's try and concuss him. We have dazed him, that's good. Oh my god, what's he doing? Overwhelming grief. We saved it. And he can still attack twice after that spell too. Aglash, come on, finish this guy. Fantastic. Let's just jump down. Let's use piercing shot. 8 damage. Gale is getting deleted from over there. 27 damage. Holy oh, moly. No. Kill it, Shadowheart. We missed. Oh, he's trying to do something now. What the hell? Umbreal 4. Oh my god, that hurt. Can you shield blow? Oh, he saved it. What is he doing? How dare you try and use this spell on me? Okay, these guys are dashing to our assistance. Good. Let's just go for it. Oh my god, come on. You can hit this. 25 damage. A star should be able to finish this guy. Miss! Ow! This guy hasn't hit a single shot. Now he 
you can attack her like 20 times back. He always saves the bash. I know you're still there. I'm sure you do. Alright, it's Uglash's turn. We can kill him if we can just get 50. Yep, there we go. 50 50 chance to hit. Now we can kill this guy as well. Also deleted. They have nothing on them, they're just shadows. Stealth attack. Critical hit. Not even dead. That's the first shot he's hit. Alright, let's fire the fireball of truth. Finish him, Uglash. Uglash smash. What the hell is that? I succeeded in stealth. So this is the necromancer. He's got a giant flesh golem, which is level 7 next to it. My goodness. Well, I feel like we just saved him, so let's go and say hello. Finally, we can talk face to face. Not just any true soul would have succeeded in following my path through this place. You should be pleased. Nice tattoos. Another true soul was looking for you. Nareer. I aided him in the Underdark. Ah, it was you who pulled his sorry carcass from the rubble. You should have left him there. <laughs> the miserable worm tried to kill me, hoping to take all the glory of this mission for himself. Dull, dull, dull. Nier was never cut out to be a true soul. He's a very obedient corpse, though. Perhaps you can prove to me that you're more useful alive than dead. You know what's at stake here, I take it. That doesn't make sense based on the fact that we revealed to him the Absolute's true plans. The name Balthazar seems familiar, but not as a servant of Ketherick Thor. Where have you heard it before? History check. 15. It comes back to you. Balthazar headed a monastic order that controlled a place called Amkethran in the deserts of Kalimshan. But he is long dead from what you recall. Mate, he looks long dead. I'm standing looking right at it. Balthazar. I heard of a monk by that name once. He died long ago. Oh, him. Yes, I decided to take his name for myself. After taking his rib bones. Suits me better, I think. But enough idle chatter. Keep to the matter at hand. You do know what's at stake here. Yes? Look at your giant sausage fingers. Judging by how you're cowering in here, your survival? <laughs> I do not cower. Plan. I command. I create. General Form trusts me. He knows I will deliver. He knows I will stand by him long after all others wilt and fall. You and all the rest have only one body with which to serve. I have as many as I care to make. Yet you seem no closer to retrieving the Night Song. I read your notes. Very interesting. Interesting and private give me one reason why i shouldn't have my creations kill you right now thief do it unleash your creations but they will not protect you from me or my righteous fury definitely gonna go for the intimidation option oh we got 15 was it advantage it was okay thank god we have plus seven anyway Fine. i'll forgive your transgressions this time there are much grander things at stake. The Night Song is my finest creation. If I never exceed myself, I will still die happy. Not that I ever intend to do something as gauche as truly dying, of course. Now, given your prying nature, I have work for you as a scout. The Night Song lends the general his strength, his invulnerability. It must be recovered before his enemies attempt to exploit it. This guy is really invested in this conversation. And he definitely didn't skip arm, chest, or neck day. If we stroke his ego, we can get him to tell us more about the Night Song. Sounds like you've got good reason to be proud of it, after all. 
and spoil the surprise? I think not. But let's just say that the Night Song was a unique specimen even before I began my work. Words, even my words, are woefully insufficient. When you see for yourself, you will understand. So where is it? And what do you need me to do? I do not need you or your help. But you are here in spite of that, so I may as well make use of you. The night song is close, but the way is barred, and Shah's dead are uncooperative. Clear the path for me by blade, cunning, or whatever it takes. I will remain here until you have succeeded. Or fallen. I trust this gas bag about as far as I can throw him, which isn't far. But perhaps better to play along for now. I agree with you, Shadowheart. You have the resource to spare. Give me something to aid my search. Fourteen. Yes. Fine. I will assign flesh to aid you on your way. Ring this bell. And he will come. Good boy. My brother is no intellectual powerhouse, but he is strong, loyal, and punctual. Should a fight turn against you, remember the bell. Wait, he's your brother? In part, yes. My poor unborn twin. Mother always resented me for it, said I strangled him in the womb if you can believe such tripe. Besides, once I developed my powers, I fetched him from the graveyard and brought him back. Gave him a new, better body. Alas, mother was not pleased. Jesus, what happened to your mother? We're still close. She's in a jar on the shelf, over there. Of course she is. What are you going to be doing over here while I'm risking myself? My creations need tending to. Not that it's any of your concern. This one's broken. He once tormented me as a youth, lifetimes ago. Now he serves me forever. No rest for you yet, Mikan. You will serve me until I am satisfied. This is why you shouldn't bully people. This is what you turn them into. I'll take the spell. Flesh will remain here until called. But don't fear. He has very sharp hearing. I chose his ears myself. Now, get to work. I'm going to betray him later and have his own brother turn up and kill him. The good one, not the one with the marrow. Okay, so this counts as stealing. There's a broken moon lantern there. This is actually where he sleeps. And there's a heavy chest. We'll come back and loot this up later, man. Wow, that was really cool, that whole conversation. Like, the whole necromancer thing he's got going on there. Really, really creepy. I love it. So it looks like we can either go down this way, or we can go back to this hall, which we passed, and go northwards from here. But there's actually a door that's locked here. A vault door. I want to open this, see where it leads. 30? 28. We'll come back. We'll check, we'll check it out later. If I have to lockpick it and don't get a key, then I'll come back and try it. The 30 isn't impossible with a star in. Ooh, okay. Back into the Gauntlet of Shah, I think. There's a brazier here. And a rat. Tough this is together. the fast travel point for the Gauntlet of Shah. Okay, so if I go up to the right here, where does this lead me? There's another shrine. Oh, there's a chest hidden behind Open him. Oh, least expect it. While obscured in shadow, the wielder has plus 1d4 bonus to their ranged attacks. Right, I think we're definitely going to swap that with our Gif Yankee crossbow and send the other one to camp. And now, if we look on the map, so this actually takes us all the way back to this area we started in. So we've done like a full circle now. What path lies before me? Let's go down here. Can't get there. What is this? A displacer beast. Doesn't seem... Okay, it's running away. I said, it doesn't seem to want to attack me. Can we get down there without taking damage? Zero damage. And it's auto saving. Gale just broke his legs. That's all I heard. 
what's this? Where does this go? There's a chasm. It's a massive chasm here. Pretty epic view, to be honest. And we could jump over here as well and go up this way. Let's just go down here and see where we end up. Oh, it's the, there it is. The shadow cat thing. Let's follow it. Oh my god. So much blood. What the hell has been happening here? Something's wrong. This feels like a trap. Yeah, this looks pretty trap-like. Oh, kill Raphael's old enemy. Is this him there? What's this? Fresh entertainment. But you're too fresh for this place, aren't you? There's a whiff of the surface to you. Ooh. A new arrival, then. You burrow too deep, little rabbit. Put that thing down. I mean, it's a tour. I don't talk to prey. I... There's what? something else. Almost hidden by your fear stink. Cherries. Musk. And sulfur. Raphael. I can smell him all over you. Where is he? Ah, you know Raphael. That perfume trickster swindled me. Trapped me. <laughs> I had dealings with that devil. Maybe we can help each other. Where is he? Spit it out. Now! What are you doing? The devil told us to kill this thing. So let's stop chatting and kill it. Chill out, Astarian. Let's share our experiences about Raphael. Perhaps we can help each other. <laughs> Bargaining, are you? A Karator warlord once tried the same. I made him watch as I ate his concubines in young, then fashioned a codpiece from his skull. You can't help. It's not just walls that keep me here. Not the traps, the dark, or the creatures it hides. Something stronger holds me. A contract. Hmm. Either I fulfill the contract, die trying, or forfeit my freedom. If I leave this place now, I'll become Raphael's slave. Show me this contract. Maybe there's something you missed. <sighs> He's desperate. The spill or the blood swarm to the night. Silence or prayers smother each right. Wonder Shah's halls, hungry to slay. Leave no justice here. Alive to obey. It's a poet. Leave none to hear it. Then be set free. This song is your oath. Swear, swear it to me. <laughs> You're right, mate. Well, that explains where all the dark justicious went. That's it. So he's the one who slaughtered the Justicius. Can we kill him now? Because if he doesn't die, then Raphael won't tell me a damn thing about my scars. Your contract is a song. Parchment can burn. Oral agreements aren't worth the tongues they're waggled out upon. A song lingers. Raphael made double sure of that. I can't forget the damn thing so long as my word's not finished. I did as instructed, but the song still rattles about in my head. The contract still stands somehow. If I break it, I will become Raphael's slave forever. Anyway, enough prattle. The lyrics are clear. All who hear the song must die. Time to die. Okay, the lyrics are a trick. You've always had an audience, your followers. Get rid of them. Oh my god. Can we tell this guy just to kill his own soldiers? 16. 23. The Merrigans. They barely have a thought to share among themselves. But they do have ears. Kill yourselves. 
back to the house with you. Well, that was easy. That makes this fight a bit easier. Ooh. I still hear it. Seems your theory is wrong. This guy is desperate. And we mess with him again. You're not finished yet. The displacer can hear you. Kill her. 21. We did it. Kill Nessa. Wait, it has a name? Oh, Stay no. very still. My beauty. Damn. I still hear it! He's not caught on yet. Exactly. <laughs> Complete the contract and you'll be reborn in Avernus free. I mean, technically he wouldn't have finished the contract. He would have failed it, right? Because he's not killed all the Dark Justicians. Is it because Shadowheart's won? No, I mean, she's only just arrived. So we need 21 again. 24. <laughs> You're wrong about this. I'll claw my way out of the furnace and eat you alive. Contract be damned. Nicely played, Raphael. Bastard. Are you serious? <laughs> that silver tongue of yours is dangerous. Bravo. I can't believe you actually pulled that off. That's the first time someone's been impressed at my wit. I suppose Raphael will be pleased if nothing else. Very gory idea of art. A foul totem of agony, mounted with sadistic relish. Wow. One day so I'll catch a break. Finish Raphael's quest. Oh, unusual gem. Displacer beast got deleted. A bed made of corpses. Disgusting and uncomfortable. Orthorn's bed. Literally, he sleeps there? Okay, how do we climb up to uh, where he was that he got up here? Did he just turn into ash? They've all turned into ash. Dude, these, <laughs> this game has the weirdest boss fights. You can just talk through. There were so many enemies here to ambush us. Maragon Halberd. Oh my god, Hellfire Hand Crossbow. And it gives you the Scorching Evocation spell. Hey, look at all these hell weapons we have. There's so many. They all have this. Oh my god, this one has spells as well. What's over here? More mice. Wait, there is a rat king? Can I sit? There's not enough space. I can't sit there with the mouse. A heavy chest down there. So let's head down there then. That's so from all these dead devils, we can climb up here. Uh, oh, there's another little What's chest hidden behind here. Wow, even more gold. We're going to be so rich. But that's the way we came. So now let's climb down here and go through to this other area. But it looks like there's loads of... I don't know, this is where they were eating? There's like spider meat? A well-chewed spider carcass oozes on the ground. Nice. Indulge in a lick of the raw carrier. Let's investigate. We got two. It's disgusting, but otherwise unremarkable. Should we indulge? Why is this an option? Who wrote this? Oh, um, Shadowheart doesn't like that, but I succeeded the constitution saving throw. The meat tastes of rot and sour milk. Your stomach lurches, but your loins tingle. Was that <laughs> arousal? Why are you looking at that dead spider coquettishly? In amongst the rot is an unmistakable sweetness. Succubus spittle. The meat is charmed. The meat is charmed. Carcass continues to leak. The leaking continues. Inhale the noxious aroma. Sulfur, decay, and a thin whiff of something unexpectedly fragrant. 
Should we go in for another sup once more on the flesh? Shadowheart really doesn't like this. Your stomach churns and your nerves burn with a pain that would almost be pleasurable were it not so savage. Stop making the damn thing! <laughs> Fantastic game, I These love boats it. Have seen everything. Absolutely amazing. Why why can we do that? I don't know, but I would partake in it. Right, there's also a heavy chest here, which I assume is trapped. I mean look at it. It looks very trapped. Boots of Brilliance. Restore Beridic Inspiration. Just by playing your instrument. That's pretty cool for bards. Someone was plowing a spider down here though and I'm a bit concerned. Obviously someone including me. Alright, so I think we've explored this whole area on the right. Let's head back to the Gauntlet of Shock. Fast travel point. Now we can be the next part of the Gauntlets. Which, I guess we can go straight down these steps. Nothing massive. of value comes easy. Overcome my trials and win my embrace. Okay, we get a hug then at the end. There's a plaque here. Her most vaunted worthy. treasure. Okay, there's a treasure in there. Soft step trial. Is this a stealth trial? Sacrifice. The bowl contains an ancient rust colored blood stain. It forms a neat disc as if spilled calmly and willingly. Look how happy I am about this. This is one of Lady Shah's trials. Allow me. It's important. As you wish. Jesus. Oh my god, what the hell? Shadowhouse beating to death? I've been catching myself smiling more lately. Wasn't expecting I think that. That's your fault. Okay, so you're okay. Let's get started to this trial. How delicious. There's lots of rooms. There's a lever. Uh, ah, so we have to get that gem. We've already got one of these gems from the other area. So the shadow is just here. I guess we have to avoid it. Oh, I can see a trap just here. Okay, so you want to go in the, the middle door, I guess? Because there's no traps. Where's the shadow at? It's here. Okay, let's go into sound base mode. I'm gonna run down here. Dash. Oh, there's a trap right here. Do I bother disarming it? Oh, I I messed up. Can I dash again? Yes. Playing a star in. Let's go over here. We saved the grease. This is good. And the grease has disappeared now. Alright, let's end our turn. See where the shadow is. Oh, mate, there's another shadow right here. Uh, can I jump through here? Do I sneak through it or do I wait? Oh, that's not good. Let's end our turn. Okay, the shadow's coming right towards me. Hopefully it turns around the other way. It did. Good, good. Let's see if we can jump through this window here, behind it. So I'm going to have the dash. Then I can use my normal thing to jump here. Please save the throw. Oh, the grease has disappeared. Okay, we're good. Exit sound base mode. Activate that lever. Oh god, oh god. Go this way. So that lever opens this door. I didn't actually need to open that. We just need to come up here and open this. Let's go in turn base mode again, try and lock like this. Ten. Easy enough. Let me in. Ah! Give me your gem. Oh, Umbreal Transporter. Oh my god, that's cool. Alright, so we've just done the soft step trial. Now we're back in this corridor. And on to Countless the next trial. Let's walk these halls once, seeking to become dark justices. I will follow in their path. Okay, Shadowheart. Her succeed. most hallowed mercy. Hallowed mercy. Oh, okay, we can't fast travel now. The bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. Another trial. I need to do this, same as before. Okay, well. Go ahead then. She's literally gonna bleed herself dry if she carries on like this. Hmm. Gonna open the door for us, I guess. It teaches us that we are our own worst enemy much of the time. Her embrace will elude us until we shed that which holds us back. 
Right, I'm just stacking health potions. Wait. So we're all healthy. Still breathing. Despite and everything. Go inside. Because I'm assuming because of the red mini map, when we can't fast travel, so we're probably going to get attacked. And there's a bunch of skeletons of people who have died before. Prime spot for an ambush. An ambush, eh? Okay. What's the best way to do this? Oh yeah, look. <laughs> I, yeah, okay. I could literally see them. Uh, would the best way to do this? We don't want to get shot from above. We'll put Shadow Heart and. Uglash down here and Some Starion, I have a separate mission for you. So I'm gonna try and sneak Korea. around them and see if we can just jump these enemies because I can literally see exactly where they are. They're just chilling out here. So we can just sneak around. Let's also coat our weapon with poison as well. So I'm completely behind these enemies. I don't even know I'm here. Wait, this is Gale. Oh, is the same, same trial. So you're fighting against yourself? That is intriguing. So I can kill him from behind here. I'm going to try to backstab him. 98% chance plus advantage. You can't mess this up, Astarian, surely. Big damage. Let's go. Okay, I get another attack as well because he's surprised. But I should also make sure the rest of my team join this combat as well. Let's go ahead and surprise Shadowheart with a fireball. 15 damage. <laughs> okay, back to Astarian. We can go ahead and sneak attack again. And that has killed Gale. Now where are we going to go? We're invisible, so I can go into stealth mode and just wait. So everyone's surprised still, which is good for us. I'll send Shadowheart down here to help Gale. We will shoot ourselves, Shadowheart. Use Divine Strike, zero damage. Oh, they're immune to necrotic damage. Should we jump up here? So I can jump into combat with myself here. Let's use Divine Smite. 40% chance to hit. Go for it. He missed. Let's try again. Okay, a star in a surprise. Let's go and backstab him from behind. 22 damage, nice. What if I bite a vampire as a vampire? I'm gonna bite myself. Nice. Critical miss. Oh, he's got us off balance though. How can he attack three times? I'm never usually allowed to attack three times. Let's use Sacred Flame on Shadow Hearts. 84% chance to hit. 14 damage. She's got one health. Okay, now we use Spectral Weapon. Something right next to her. Oh, Gale actually could finish this with Magic Missile. They both missed. She has one health. That's like really annoying. Silence Aura. Okay, that's annoying. Compel to Jewel. Okay, that's fine. Critical miss. Go ahead and attack Astarian. 10 damage, 4 damage. Oh my god, critical hit. Okay. Sacred frame it is. Get wrecked. Wow, come on. Okay, he just went invisible. Wow. Starion's dead. Wow, okay. He fell off a cliff, but he's fine. Show yourself. Detect presence. There we go. Why can't I see them? Where are they? I can use fire. I'll just fire it right here. They must be somewhere here. There he is. Uglash is hiding. I don't know why Uglash is labeled as civilian in this trial. It's a bit weird. Right, I'm actually going to go ahead and bless everyone here. And we will start going ham again. And missing all of our attacks. Divine Smite, let's go. We missed. Again. 23 damage. Just go ahead and shoot him from here. Don't want to die with a Starion. 20 damage. Oh my god, got two health left. Yeah, we should be able to finish him off with a cantrip. Haunted one. Self-flagellation. Oh my god, we got the Umbreal Gem. Killer's Sweetheart. What is that? When you kill a creature, your next attack roll will be a critical hit. Once spent, this effect refreshes after a long rest. That's really good for my character because he gets triple damage on critical hits. Loads of dead skeletons for people who have failed this trial. We can use the teleporter to get out of there. That was really cool. I wasn't expecting to find my own party. Amazing. Alright, so now we've done the self-same trial. We've got to go outside again. Then I guess we go down these stairs. Then we've pretty much explored everything. So we must almost be at the last trial. Hello there. Fantastic view. 
a rusty spear and some more rats. What is with these rats? Seems like a good moment to talk. There's so many. I mean, it seems a bit like a waste of time to attack a bunch of rats. Oh, there is a orb in front of us. Okay, so we can't go in there yet, I guess. We have to do this first. Faith Leap Trial. Shadow Heart, are you ready? Another bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. Come on, Shadow Heart. Another trial. Allow me, please. So intense, you're like, allow me, please. Go on then. One, <laughs> one, son. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's go down here. So I guess I can just run across let's this. Let's try this way. Yep, that'll do it. And then we need to look at where these invisible barriers are. Can we just jump across? Oh, okay, I got teleported back. Does that mean I have two lives left? Oh, so you have to stand a certain distance away to know where the platforms are. Okay, so I'm going to jump here and just hope for the best. Oh my god, that was it. Great, great, we did it. So now I remember it being like right in the middle here, so we can walk here. Oh! Okay, yeah, I have one life left. Alright, Shadowheart, just have faith that you'll land on the right spot here. Okay, here we go. And again. Ah! Oh god, that actually worked. Okay. I got the gem. The, last one. the inner sanctum is within reach now. We did it, boys. Shadow Heart passed her first trial. Got along. Right, so there's a lever there. We're going to go out here. So now on the map, we have to place the Umbreal gemstones in the altar. So let's fast travel back to the corner of the Shah. We go back up if here. If not over, then through. And this is where the Umbreal gems are placed, I guess. And we've got three of them now. So let's go ahead and activate it. Lady Shah. So. Connect the first Dragon Ball. Sirs. Oh! Wait. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong at all. We failed the perception roll. What's going on? Tell me. There's something more I need to do. Or the trials will have been in vain. There is a holy weapon hidden away. The Spear of Night. I have to claim it. Then use it to make a sacrifice in Lady Shah's inner sanctum. If I succeed, I'll become a dark justicia. Where is the Spear of Night? Sacrifice? You intend to kill some innocent down there? <laughs> Welcome to the club. You just figured this out by yourself just now. Yes. I know it must seem like I pulled this out of thin air, but that's how Lady Shah chose to reveal herself to me. You'll see for yourself, soon enough. We need to get that spear. There's a library in this place somewhere. That's where I need to look. Oh, I know where that is. That's downstairs, isn't it? So we shouldn't do this yet, even though we have already got the last gem. All right, so this was the jumping puzzle. And if we go a bit further on... Oh, there's the lever and there's some mice. But we need to go into the library to do this puzzle. Oh, damn, there's loads of... Just the cars here. Can we go in here freely? I'm gonna go ahead and short rest. There's a silence aura down there that we can actually destroy. Interesting. Everyone in here is currently silent. Oh, okay. There is combat. Great. I didn't realize. Maybe we should take cover behind the pillar. Certainly. Just down here. Has 32 health, so we could destroy it, allowing us to use magic. 11 damage. Oh boy, they're all going to be like pelting me with arrows otherwise. Oh my god, 22 damage? He's firing through the wall! 9 damage, not bad. Leave no trace. Okay. Here comes all the enemies. Oh, he's detected us, has he? No, he's not. Interesting. Okay, we'll get Uglush to just defend our followers. Big damage. Actually hit. That's pretty good. On my we'll way. Rush down here. There's another one here. He's going to probably jump over. And try and stabby stabby. Here they all come. 
Oh my god, there's even more coming out of the hole. Okay, we're just gonna like run Gale around five. here and try and keep him alive, really. Shadow Heart, on the other hand, might as well shoot this. If we can do enough damage. 11! It's on one health! Oh man. Oh boy, here we go. Full damage. Right, Arrow of Roaring Thunder should hit all of these guys. Wait, it didn't do any damage? Missile snaring? Zero damage, good. Kill Arglosh. Executioner. I'm not going to use that yet. But wait, we miss? Okay, let's just shoot this stupid silence aura so we can at least break that. Use Flame Fireball. Shadowheart, use Spectral Weapon. I'm so unlucky with these. Oh, Gale. Let's try and assist Shadowheart here by doing some actual damage. Try and finally kill this guy. Can use Executioner, why not? 42 damage, wow, okay. To use, another big damage. Now because I crit, I should be able to use this, but I can't, so it's kind of bugged. Oh, he's shadow stepping to come help the rangers. Let's use Hellish Rebuke. Free damage, come on. Surely better than that. Not on my watch. <laughs> Who do you think you are? An Oblivion NPC? Oh dear, Gale's getting wrecked. She used Glyph of Warding on these guys. Oh wait, I hit my own companions. I thought my whole point of this class was that I didn't hit them with AoEs. Inflict wounds. Seven damage. Oh no, he's going after Gale. Oh, Gale's almost dead. Two health. Uh, he's running away and shooting Gale because, you know, he's the only NPC that exists. And damage. Might do some more damage. No, it didn't take any Can't full damage. Down. Interesting. Then we'll push him off. Surely, no. We obviously you can't pass. Opportunity attack. Uglash getting shot at by crossbones. Shoot this guy. Critical miss. Really? So we go and suck his blood. Quickly. Your blood is mine. Why can't I? I can't target undead. Ah, I see. Why did I not get an attack of opportunity? Kind of weird. Right, I think we need to throw a health potion at Gale. Let's do this. Get him back in the fight. Just gonna run at this person because he's absolutely trapped now in the corner. Sacred Blade. Six. Oh my God! Some one health again. It's the third time in this fight. Why doesn't the Starion get an attack of opportunity? He's standing right next to him. I don't understand. I can't be any closer. If I even hit him when standing next to him anyway. Enemy. Kill him. Finally. Leveled up too. Don't think I'm going to be able to shoot this other guy though. Alright, we need to go and help Gale. Save him. Poor Gale, man. Right. He's gonna move again, I guarantee. Yeah, I how does how do I not get an attack of opportunity? He doesn't disengage, he just leaves every time. And I just have to run after him. I must be stupid, like I must be doing something wrong. He's on one health again. Finish him, come on. I miss. I miss 70% chance. Finally. Oh my god. I don't get my beauty sleep soon. I may just get a tad malcontent. I'll let you have a light rest. There you go. And there is a button here to disarm. There's a few of these buttons. I can see the other one right here. There's like another four buttons on the other side though. Or two buttons. Sorry. There's a row of books that's also trapped. What isn't trapped here? All the bookshelves are trapped. This is a very dangerous place. And this door, can we just open this or is it also trapped? Darian can just lock the game. We'll see how we get on. We need 21. 
That is a cool portalus. How many traps are in here? I literally just stepped on it. It's a gas pit. And there's a riddle of the night. What can silence the night song? Lost own secrets. Lady Shah knows what you bury deep inside your spirit. She knows what pains you and gnaws away at your very being. Be open with her about your failings. Let her place the soothing hands of oblivion upon your wound. Let her know you utterly so she can release you from your shackles. Relief of Shah. Teachings of Loss. Oblivion. It's the same book. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a... Oh, the treasure room is behind it. So you know that, that door I didn't lockpick earlier? That led to the treasure room, but we needed a 30 to open it. Sharon Initiate Notes. A scrap of parchment covered in desperate scrollings, guesswork. If the rumors are true, the answer lies within the pages of these books. It must do. A hidden way to become first among all dark justicars. How can I not pursue such a prize? It does not matter if I was not commanded to walk this path. Lady Shah will surely admire my cunning and tenacity. I will scour every page, devour every word. I must find this relic. I must win a place. Okay, so the books do lie in the library, but they're trapped for some reason. What can silence the night song? That's the question. Must have some other books around here that we can grab, like the one I didn't pick up over here. <sighs> Teachings of Loss, Forgotten and Loss. A dense tome written elegant script for the teachings of Shah. Loss teaches us truth. In its void, we are our purest expressions of ourselves. There is nothing nobler than to get to surrender oneself to darkness. For the little grief that gets us there, the Dark Lady rewards us with night's internal embrace. Okay, I'll take that too. Any other books around we can grab? There's a scroll here, what closed library here? section. Only those who have proven themselves are invited to look upon the Night Song's secrets. Four controls adorn these walls, one permits entry. Place yourself at the center of the sanctum. Seek the northwest corner. Be wary. Enter the unwelcome. The darkness will find you. Or is he saying it's the northwest button? Oh dear. Forgot that these books were trapped. Teachings of loss. Light's love. Love is the cruelest of all lies used by Lady Shah's foes. It is a disease. One that can ensnare hearts for a lifetime over something as slight as a passing glimpse. Love is arsony, a destructive flame offering fleeting light and comfort to those who feed it. While insulting Lady Shah's cold, infinite darkness, extinguishing the fires of love, they shall burn you with their heart, choke you with their acrid smoke, and in the end, leave you with nothing but cold ashes and a hungry heart. Alright, Lady Shah was clearly, uh grief stricken by someone all right what can silence the night song we have a few different books here that i've picked up teachings of loss the night singer can silence the night song oh. it worked time to press ahead wow okay oh my god here it is the spear of night be the spear of night the weapon lady shah bid me to wield give it a spear of the night three to eight damage shah's blessing if shah allows it use this spell to kill the night song that's literally its entire purpose according to the law we read as well deliver the night mother's mercy upon her enemies okay trust your secrets to the night shroud yourself in blackest night there's also a gilded chest here Whoa, Dark Justica Helmet, very rare, magic durability, the wielder has plus one bonus to saving throws against spells. Convert critical, while obscured, the number you need to roll a critical hit, while attacking is reduced by one. This effect can stack. Wow, medium armor, perfect for Shadowheart. Look how silly she looks, guys. Oh, Dark Justica's half plate. Oh, it was underneath the shrine. Wow, okay, she looks dope now. When obscured, the wearer has advantage on stealth checks and advantage on constitution saving throws. Also, Shah's Aegis gives you two to your armor class. Okay, Shadowheart looks very cool right now. So now we've unlocked the treasure room, we actually need to go back to the Gauntlet of Shah and then we can put the rest of these gemstones into the pedestal. All right, we're back at the pedestal of Reckoning and it's beckoning us. On the altar is an inscription. Brave the gauntlet of your Lady Shah, surmount her trials, and rise a dark justicia. The gauntlet of Shah. This place. 
place is legendary. Even with half my memories locked away, I still remember the stories. The Dark Lady's finest warriors arose from this place. Now I'm here. Are you okay? What's up? Upon the altar is an inscription. Brave the gauntlet of your Lady Shah. Surmount her trials and rise a dark justicia. The gauntlet of Shah. This place is legendary. Even with half my memories locked away, I still remember the stories. The Dark Lady's finest warriors arose from this place. Now I'm here. I am the finest warrior. Bit of a flex, Shadowheart, but okay. What are these trials, Shadowhearts? In order to join Lady Shah's elite, you had to pass her trials. Then make a sacrifice in her innermost sanctum. One revealed only when you've proven yourself. Very few made it that far. I've dreamed of this place. This is my destiny. I must complete the trials. How mad would it be if we get in there we have to like sacrifice our companion? Are you sure this is what you want? You know me better than most. But I need to find out if I'm worthy. If I prove myself to Lady Shah, she'll bless me with power. Power we can use to take on the Absolute and rid ourselves of these parasites once and for all. Let's explore. Alright, let's do it. The inscription's challenge remains the same. Okay. We have all the gems. Let's put them to use and continue onwards. Examine there are the recesses altar. on the altar that look intended to house something. Another such receptacle already contains a gemstone. Okay, so we already have gemstones here. So now we can use this lift, I guess. The disc is moving. This must lead to the next part of Shah's gauntlet. Dude, how cool is this? Looks amazing. Okay, so this is where we needed the other balls. Let's insert. Can I use a pearl? I mean, that's almost the same. Lol, it doesn't work. Right, Astarian also has a gem. Insert that. Insert this. This way. Wow. We made it. This is so cool, like, revealing all of this. Gift of mercy. This must be where initiates undertook their final preparations. The end is near. Yeah, it says, Gift of Mercy, Gift of Darkness, Gift of Secrets. The end draws near. You show great potential. Do not falter now. This is the last test. One more test awaits. Descend to the night soul. Make a sacrifice. Rise again. A dark justicia. I will not fail you, my lady. Trust your secrets to the night. Mm. Deliver the Night Mother's mercy upon her enemies. Shroud yourself in blackest night. What a beautiful shrine this is as well. Shot. Let's go inside. This must be the last step. I need to pray. Only by Lady Shah's grace did we even make it this far. Use the power of the parasite. Feel inside Shadow Hearts. Mind you, yeah, 100%. Let's see what she's thinking. 16. You got a crit. Let's go. You feel your mind slip into Shadow Hearts. But you are not the only one present. There is another. Ancient, commanding, rendered from purest darkness. Shah. Take my spear. Step forward. Strike down the Salunite. As you command, Night Singer. Now go. Warm my blade with moon crazed blood. And be wary of your companion. He pries in your thoughts. That wasn't for you to hear. 
<laughs> I deserve to know what I'm getting myself into. It's simple. My Lady Shah demands a sacrifice. One life. Not that it matters, but her reward aligns with your own interests. All right, fine. Let's move on. Just remember what I said. Let me do what I need to. Our approval with Shadowheart literally couldn't be any higher at this point in the game. Here we go. Your party is gathered. You are ready. Or so you hope. Are you sure you want to proceed? Depending on your choices, the state of the region could change. Some active quests may become unavailable. Ooh. Okay. Let's do it. It's a bit wet. A bit damp. As you step into the silent water, a foreign dread travels through you. It curls its way up your leg, squeezing tight. Sure. Felt like you drowned or something. Oh my goodness. It's like more like Bow's Plane of Oblivion. We're in Cold Harbor. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's the Imperial City. Lady Shah. I can feel her all around. This is her domain. This is the shadow fell. Sorry, D&D fans. You did well. Better than I would have credited you with. Now, hurry along and bear witness to my masterpiece. This is the Dark Lady's domain. He does not belong here. I cleared the way to this place, not you. Why shouldn't I just kill you instead of letting you interfere? Raise one finger to me. And I'd sunder you like lightning would a rotten oak. Now, enough dullard questions. Follow me. He looks so agile, but like unagile. <laughs> okay, well, that didn't work out. As if the softest push could send me drifting away. Onwards we go then. And move. There's a floating vase here, which I thought was a bug, but it seems intentional. It's got a human skull on it. So I assume this is going to work. We're just going to jump off and yay! Descend to her. Who is this? Dark Justica Soul Hunter. We can't talk to him. Just a little bit further. See my actions, Lady Shaw. Hear my words of faith. What was it you miss? Blessed Night Singer, witness my adoration. This is so sick, just being like, wee! Look at that. I have emptied my heart of falsehood. I have amazing. vanquished your foes. Descend to her. Let's have a look. Nearly there. Have to keep going. Listen. Almost there. Lady Shah's will shall be done. As sure as night will fall. Shadowheart is a devout follower. I respect that. Lady Shah's will shall be done. As sure as night will fall. I want you to jump off. Perhaps you're right. Yeah. Perhaps you're incapable of feeling at all. Please, Amy, spare me. Your insults grew tired and shop-worn years ago. What? The night song is a person! There were so many hints, actually. Alright, me and Shadowheart will jump down. Everyone else will stay back. Balthazar. Come to add more bars to my cage? Or perhaps to lead this would-be Justicia's blade directly to my heart? I invite you 
heap more sins upon your head. My retribution will be all the sweeter for them. All this time, and you still fail to appreciate the gifts I bestowed on you, Aileen. Sad to see a thing of beauty not recognize its own worth. But General Thor, he appreciates you, and he wants you close at hand. So, I am here to whisk you back to him. Catherick. I welcome the sight of him after these hundred years. He whose immortality I supply with my very soul. General Thor. I'm sure you'll be on your best behavior for him, but just in case, I've taken some precautions. Keep back. It will take quite some concentration to secure Aelin for her little journey. I see. The Night Song is Shah's sacrifice. She's my destiny. He cannot have her. What's interesting as well is that Shah wants the Night Song dead, but the General is a Shah worshipper, so I would have thought she would have wanted the General to be powerful. The Night Song is a person. Person? Please. You insult her. You insult me. Aelin is so much more than that. She is an Asimar, bound to a soul cage of my creation, and lending her immortal strength to General Thorne. Her power, his will, and my genius. An unsurpassable feat. Ramblings most unsane. Poor Balthazar, for maggots ate his brain long ago. Hold your tongue, Aelin, or I'll take it away from you again. Again. You. No more questions. No more interference. Don't tell me what to do. She's the reason Catherick Thorm is invulnerable. You're not taking her. Leave or you're a dead man. Dead man? You haven't been paying attention, have you? Perhaps I'll revive your carcass and add you to my retinue. Then you'll have all the time in the world to think on your mistakes. <laughs> oh, what? Let us make short work of this. Doing something. Oh, miss. My god. Another miss. Starring can get rid of these skeletons. One down. Can I push this one off? I'm invisible. Oh, okay. I didn't quite get him completely off. Oh my god. I'm left with being attacked by like everyone. So let's get Gale to come to the tip of the iceberg. And we can use Ice Storm. I think we can hit like three targets with this ability. And hopefully they'll be falling over. End our turn. Uglash is still getting shot at from everywhere. Right, let's get over here so we don't get pushed off. And we can try and push this guy. Haha! <laughs> See you later. And then we'll go and bathe in this undead. And I'll stand right next to this ice. Hopefully he falls over. Oh, he has fallen over. Perfect. Whee! And we use piercing shot on Balthazar. Divine Strike. He's immune to poison, I think, as an undead. Kind of makes sense. Oh, please don't push me over. Oh, thank God he fell over. Okay, this is actually great. Oh my God! They've all fallen over in like a little pile of bodies. It will be a kindness to put an He's dashing. To come on, body. slip, slip, slip. Oh, come on. Oh no. Cloud kill. That's annoying. 20 damage. Well, just half his health instantly. Okay. Jump out of this and go ham on this guy. Hopefully we can take him out. Okay. Luckily, they're still shooting at me. Jeez, Gale's already almost dead. I'm going to use Fireball at all of these guys right here. Just delete them all. Wow. Okay, they are all pretty much on one health or dead. Okay, Uglash should be able to finish them off if they're on the floor. Yep, one down and kill the other one. Yes, this is actually amazing. We'll just jump up here. I'm right next to them for next turn. Shadowheart can use Spectral Weapon up here to distract these guys. And then I'll actually use my dash action just to run across the map here and threaten this mage. Oh, blindness. Okay, that's a bit annoying. You shall live to regret this. Perhaps not. Not as much damage as the Starion and Gale because it's 
20. Oh my god. Right, Staran can finish off this guy. 10 damage. Oh, yep, they're distracted by that axe. Great. Right, I'm going to use Misty Step on Gale. Then, and I can use Ice Storm on all of these guys. Look, he's trying to run away. Take a lot of damage, son. And then, you know, I'll run down here so I'm undercover. Ugla should just be able to push this guy off, though. There we go, get Rex up. Now I'm going to have to use Dash here to get on out of this cloud. All right, let's get Shadowheart to run over here. And my Sunbeam weapon. Can it hit him? It can hit him right at the edge. 12 damage. Okay, not amazing, but it's not bad either. And we'll just go ahead and jump towards him so we don't fall on the ice, ideally. For some reason, I can't target this enemy. Right, a star in has a go to take out this major. See how you like this, huh? <laughs> Could I just push him off the cliff? I do want to loot him. It would be funny to just lose him to the abyss, though. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot him from here. He's on ice. One damage. Come on. Give me more than that. Two, two damage. Sacred flame. No damage. I'm going to get right next to him so he can't get away. Okay. He's doing some close combat attacks. Opportunity attack. Let's go. Five damage. Nice. Whoa! Wait. How is she still alive? What just happened? What just happened? She died. She got pushed off to her death, and then she's back. How did that happen? I don't understand. Shoot this guy. How did you miss? 94% chance to hit with advantage. He's currently wet, so I can cast Witch Bolt. 11 damage. Oh no, Shadowheart is going to get hit by that, isn't she? Gain advantage against Undead. 70% chance to hit now. Then use a Divine Attack against him. Level 3 Divine Attack. How did you miss that, bro? Okay, try again. 70% with advantage. How? What is this mass? It doesn't make sense. If I have a 70% chance to hit, I'm rolling two dice to hit. How am I missing every single time? Like, it doesn't make sense. I don't know. I don't know. It's his turn now. If he pushes Shadow Heart off again, I'll be angry. Okay, we're having a wizard duel. You think and now striking you down my body will be the end of me? No, I don't, actually, because you explained to us earlier that that wouldn't do anything. Reactivate Witch Bolt. Go. Two damage. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Uglash jump. Uglash smash. Okay, 70% with advantage. Okay, come on, 70%. Thank you. Bleeding the corpse dry. I am inspired. He has the circlet of bones. Undead ward. Allied undead within six meters are resistant to bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing. Soul cage research. One moment, guys. Rambling notes in a spidery, jagged hand filled the volume. They speak of soul cage bindings, the life force of one to another. A cruel drawing shows two figures side by side. The one on the left appears to have daggers protruding from his chest, while the other one on the right has a corresponding wound in his own chest. So if you kill Night Song, you kill General Thorn, in theory. 99% chance with advantage, an actual hit. Maths. Okay, these guys have like a bit of gold. I'll get to you in a moment. You were completely useless and unhelpful in that fight, so you can wait your turn. Ooh, great club. All right, let's Seems go and like talk to the Knight of Thor. Balthazar has drawn his final rancid breath. <laughs> a pity it was not my hand that brought it about. Instead, it was you. You. You have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You, who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger, a spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Her fate is mine to seal. Let me handle this. The fate you seal is your own. To be a dark justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude. Until, of course, your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. 
A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadowheart bristling. This is important to her. But your bond is strong. You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. And Nightsong is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. Choose your own way, Shadowheart. You cannot allow your goddess to control you. Trust Shadowheart, do not interfere. I think this is the most interesting thing. I'm not gonna interfere, I'm just gonna be like, hey man, <laughs> do, do what you want. It's all come to this, like, I wanna see her plunge that spear into this, I didn't even know it was a person, but into this person's heart. But I'm gonna let her make this decision on her own. Well, well, well. What's that I sense? A spear intended for my heart? Empowered by your goddess, I. Empowered to kill the child of a god. Do you know what I am, little assassin? For I know you. A lost child. Frightened by wolves in the dark. What did you say? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? I sense more in you than you know. Whatever you think you know of me won't matter once I become who I'm meant to be. Kill her. Let's finish this ritual. I can persuade her. Don't do it, Shadowheart. Don't kill her. You'll regret it. How I don't even know if she would regret it. What's interesting is that she knows about her story that she's scared of wool. She knows something about you. Spare her. Let's see what she has to say. I'm not going to say anything. Like I said, I'm not going to interfere. I'm just going to see what she does. I want to see if Shadowheart's truly evil. <laughs> she didn't do it. I can't believe I just did that. Lady Shah will disown me. What will happen to me? Not what will happen. What will you do? Your past is not yet lost. Your future is not yet fixed. Lay a hand on me in friendship, not quite Sharon. And I will fight the battle that has been waiting for me this last century. Then, oh then, we will have much to discuss. It's just some feet. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what that's sick. That's so cool. Oh my god. She's an angel. Yo, this is actually incredible. I am resplendent. Dude. You have given me a great gift. We freed the night song and have been blessed by Saloon for saving her daughter. Okay. Don't know why they skipped the custom. Oh damn, okay. So she looks pretty dope. She's angered by the Shadowlands. She's restoring light to them. Oh wow, everything recedes. Oh my god. 
This is incredible. I I genuinely thought that if we left Shadowheart to her own devices, that she would kill. Clearly I was too nice to her this whole time. Oh, that's really nice cinematic there. Very Powerful cool. am I? Well chosen, Shadowheart. With her free, Kethrick is exposed. We only have to strike. So we got the Moonlight Glaive. Moonlight Glaive glowing. This object shines with a glowing light in a radiance of six meters. Oh, dude, that's insane. And Moonlight Butterfly is 15 to 26 damage. Strike a foe conjuring an illusionary swarm of moon pale butterflies, granting advantage on attacks against the enemy target. I... I am very conflicted. Because I... I, this is an evil playthrough. Oh, this is meant to be an evil playthrough. But I did kind of like what my character would do, because he's in love with Shadowheart. Like, and I thought we, she you know, she was evil. And then I let her do her own thing. I left it up to her own devices, and she didn't kill the Night Song. So now I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know if this should be my way forward, or if I should reload and do the evil commit to the evil playthrough because that's probably like no one's going to play the evil playthrough of this game and i feel like i i want to be the one to do that because i mean it's entertaining to do that stuff i kind of want to see shadow heart fulfill it's not her destiny though because we changed her character it's just so incredibly well written i really didn't expect this i thought she was just going to kill her now i don't know what to do Okay, I just wrote a community post asking you guys to vote, but I think that I want this to be an evil playthrough. Um, but man, it's just so beautiful that the story is written that way, and it really made me feel like Shadowheart had this amazing character development. Like, we actually changed her as a person, even though it's all she knows about and all she wants, but she was just so conflicted. Oh, it's just so good. It's so good, but I can play this and see this on a good playthrough, you know? I wanna I wanna go evil and oh my god, I'm gonna have to reload and have a shadow heart to kill her. <laughs> Ooh boy. Okay, let's talk to Shadow Heart before we go on actually. Let's see what she I, I defied Lady Shah. She won't stand for this. We can talk later. I need to get out of here first. Okay, let's go outside to see see what happens. I want to see that conversation first. Forgive me. Oh, there you are. I was very close to worrying about you, Shadowheart. I thought I was done for. I thought perhaps I might have been dead. This this is all like some sort of terrible dream. But it's real, isn't it? I stood before the night song. I heard Lady Shah's words, and I failed her. Worse than failed her, I defied her. Just because of what that Asimar said. I tried to leave, but Shah blocked me. Punished me for failing her. I thought I knew the limit of pain that the incurable wound could inflict, but I had no idea. It felt like I was suffering the agony of a thousand people all at once. My blood was boiling, my hair was on fire. I thought I'd claw my own face off with the pain. But then she released me. Banished me, more like. She said I was an outcast. That all of her children would know me and revile me. Shadowheart looks distraught. Abandoned by her goddess and all former allies. And as for her divine magic, admitting who empowers her now may break her spirit for good. You're not alone, you have me. <laughs> me, the murderer. <laughs> I never thought you'd actually defy Shah. What was going through your head? When Night Song mentioned wolves, I felt my heart freeze. She knows things about me. She has the answer. 
And I don't even know the question yet. I know. It doesn't make much sense, does it? A whole lifetime of faith, of service, all gone. Because of a few words from a stranger. Until I hear what Night Song has to say for herself, I simply won't know if I've ruined everything for no reason. She took flight to hunt down Kethrick Thorm. All I can do is help hasten his demise and hope that answers soon follow. This is going to make killing her even harder for me, <laughs> knowing that Shadowheart's going to remove the ultimate answer to who she is. I'm here for you, Shadowheart. Thank you. I think any attempts at comforting me might be in vain just now. But you're sweet to keep me in your thoughts. There's been something between us for some time. A connection. More than friends. I recognized it, but didn't act on it. I thought my faith was the most important thing in my life. I couldn't have been more wrong. I've squandered too much time already. I want to be with you. Now and always. Do you want the same? You're telling me if I if I did this decision, then we would have been out of the friend zone? We would have been out of the friend zone, boys. But yet, we're going to go back and kill Night Song. That's what we're going to do. This is what I sacrificed for my evil playthroughs. Everything. It cost me everything. I do. I wanted this for a long time. It wasn't too long ago that I could never imagine smiling again. Shows what I know. Oh, she's so sweet. Night Song promised she'd tell me something about myself. I need to speak with her as soon as I can. Okay, now we reload. We reload the safe. We tell Shadowheart to kill Night Song. Can't believe I'm doing this. This is terrible. But it's the evil option. But now I know that we would have been out of the friend zone with Shadowheart. And I know the, the other side of it. And it pains me even more <laughs> to reload. Because I... It's also actually against Shadowheart's character now because we've changed her. <laughs> I'm going to convince her to kill her. Her fate is mine to seal. Let me handle this. Okay, you didn't need to ask my permission. But you seal is your own. You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. What's mad is that we didn't guide her towards any decisions of light. We just didn't intervene and I thought she would be evil. Do as you must. Well, well, well. What's that I sense? A spear intended for my heart? Empowered by your goddess, I. Empowered to kill the child of a god. Do you know what I am, little assassin? For I know you. A lost child. Frightened by wolves in the dark. What did you say? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? I sense more in you than you know. Whatever you think you know in me won't matter once I become who I'm meant to be. Kill her. Let's finish this ritual. child after all and I am I am it is done you have proven yourself you have answered my highest calling my chosen my warrior my dark justicia no more hiding let me show you let all see how you have served me shadow and how you have been rewarded. Oh my your god. pain is now your power. Wield it true. The 
pain is not. My charge must be cleansed. You shall be my instrument in ridding it of the impure. Then you shall take up the mantle as its new leader. First, hunt down the traitor, Ketherick Thorm. He shunned my embrace. He let my armies be slaughtered. He used my domain to safeguard his wretched life. But now, without the night song, he's vulnerable. End him in my name, Shadowheart. Let him see you in your splendor before you shut his eyes forever. Once he is vanquished, Baldur's Gate awaits. Your holy work will continue there, where you first learned of my embrace. Take up my spear again and go forth. Let the cleansing begin. Cleansing? I've actually done it. The dark justice here chosen by Lady Shark. It almost doesn't feel real. Even your mother superior can prevent you from realizing your dream. Well. It appears my days of seeking her approval are at an end. Lady Shah's church in Baldur's Gate has yet to be cleansed. A rot has set in amongst the leadership, one that I must cut out. Even once all that is done, more will be asked of me, no doubt. The holy work will not be done until the Night Singer's eternal darkness is restored. There is one other matter. As the chosen of Lady Shah, it is time to carry myself like one. What does that mean exactly? I still carry certain vestiges of a novice. That will no longer do. If I am to lead in Lady Shah's name, I must look the part. Leave it to me. You'll see exactly what I mean soon enough. Should I be concerned? You and I share something special, but I think we need to talk about it. Very serious of you, but go ahead. How are you faring? Better than I thought possible. I have done as Lady Shah wished, and she has rewarded me in turn. All is well. Or... Almost. The Night Singer wants my heart. All of it. Wow. Very different outcome to the storyline. We can loot Night Song. I think Shadowheart has the spear, though, already. Oh my god, it's a legendary weapon. Equipped by Shadowheart, 6 to 16 damage. If you attack an enemy in the dark, it does even more damage. You can also use the spell Shard's Darkness. Also, Edge of Darkness creates a cloud of darkness when you attack. That's insane. Because it also stacks with the Dark Justica Half Plate, which while obscured, the wearer has advantage on stealth checks. Your weapon attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 necrotic damage. And we also got the conclusion of why Shah wants Ketherick Thorn to be killed, even though he worshipped Shah because he failed and all of Shah's forces were destroyed. And failure is not tolerated. Well, that episode really upset me. I mean, it was a deep one, and it's just a testament to how good the writing is in Baldur's Gate 3. I feel like I've connected with some of these companions and changed even some of their characters just based on the story decisions that I have at my disposal. And the decisions I make actually impact those characters for better or worse, as you clearly saw in today's episode. But also, like, the decisions we made up until this point really made Shadowheart who she was. She chose to set aside her Shah worship. We didn't even need to persuade her. She made that decision herself, and I just think that's really cool. Let me know in the comments what outcome you would have wanted to see, the good one or the bad one, and we'll proceed into the next episode with that in mind.